It's, it's, it's been a long, long while since we've had to do a third take on the chair position, so here it is. This is where we take a game. We tell you if it works, how it performs, how the graphics look, and how it controls. We give it a score of one to four chairs based on that. Then we tell you how we feel about the game. We give it an arbitrary score on based on one to four chairs on that. This week, we are looking at Panarium. Panarium I, was kept, I kept wanting to say video. Panarium or whatever. The, 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 it is it is not oxen free. Yes, it is, it is. an entirely different game. This is clearly oxen free. Um, it's it's developed by a self made miracle. It's done on a custom engine. So <laughs> the game itself is only about seventy megs in size. You can pick it up for about ten bucks. And what is it? Panarium is a frantic two D arcade game where you take on the role of Willy and you're trapped in a sinister circus show. Um, yeah, the, uh, these guys these guys sent us some keys, right? Or did we mm-hmm. buy these? Wait, no, yeah. we, we bought this. Yeah, uh, we we bought this one. All right, yeah. So, um, no, no, thanks to you, self-made miracle. We'll give you our honest opinion of the game because you didn't pay us any money or games. So, Ven, how how to run on Ubuntu? Um, man, I was just doing a bunch of things. I we were just playing uh, the game of what else did I fucking forget to? Oh, that. Um, so over here on Kombuntu, eighteen oh four LTS kind of business. Uh, Ryzen seventeen hundred nine eighty. <laughs> NVMe drives, 4K displayed, and all that fun jazz. Does it launch? Does it run? It better, and it does. Performance is hipster pixel, man. It better run. It does 60, all the things. No issues on that. Uh, One thing I noticed, you don't really have much in the way of resolution settings. You can kind of go full screen, or you can go a little fucking window. But you can stretch it out. That's the thing. As I said, graphics-wise, it's hipster. It's pixel. It's goodness. It's well done. You know, it's not lazy. And controller... Didn't have a problem with it. It ran with the Xclume controller and the Steam controller. So I'll, I'll give it a solid, clean bill of health, J Baby. Well, that's, that's what you get for running a bunch of you here in real Linux land on Fedora. Shit don't work. So I did a little bit of digging, and their launch script actually attempts to detect a bunch of libraries you have installed and then copy them to the game folder. These libraries look for the Ubuntu path, and if they miss, if they're missing, it tries to apt install them and asks you for a pseudo password if you just run the script from the directory. Um, of course, I don't trust games that ask for my root password, so I figured out what I needed to install. Um, despite the fact that this is a uh, this is a 64-bit game, uh, you actually need to install the 32-bit library if you want to use the startup script, because um, it actually looks for the libraries in the incorrect place on Fedora. So uh, I put the command to link the appropriate library in the show notes, and then everything ran after that. So um, that, 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 that was a little more effort than I'm willing to put in for most games. Uh, performance at 1080p. Well, I mean, you don't really have a graphics options, so it holds 60 because it's a it, look, look at it. It's not really bringing my 980 or 1080 Ti to its knees. Uh, graphics, I mean, they're, they're pixely, they're colorful, and I can tell one thing apart from another. So that's got that going for it. And you got, you got three options for the controls. You move, you jump, or you bail the level. That's it. So <laughs> aside from, uh, aside from some startup issues, uh, it runs fine. I'll give it three chairs on Fedora. What about the other Ubuntu? Oh, <clears throat> yes. So on Ubuntu 1604, it launched very quickly. And it played beautifully on 1920 by 1080 at 60 frames per second and 1920 by 1200 at 60 frames per second. Um, uh, in, and the windowed mode scaled easily and full screen works great. So it ran beautifully. And it actually played beautifully on my generic SNES controller and, and uh, keyboard is also very responsive. So I tried both. And um, I'm using a... a GTX 1060 on this machine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yay. Cool. And I gave, gave it four chairs. <laughs> awesome. For, uh, All right. With so, the working. <laughs> so, so, th- so there you go. If you're, if you're using a distribution that puts their uh, 32-bit libraries in uh, <laughs> user lib, then uh, you're going to have some work cut out for you in order to get this game running. But that brings <laughs> us to the fun segment. Then did you have fun playing? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if you like games, uh, this might be for you. If you like frustration, I first thought, hey, do I like Super Meat Boy? I kind of did, because if you look at it, that's what it is, man. This is Super Meat Boy with a bunch of extra steps thrown in. You run, you jump, you explode into pixelated gibbs. And you also rage quit. That is another fun, fun feature of (laughs) Venarium. Um... I kind of felt myself doing that more often than not, but not the 
throw a controller across the room, rage quit. It's the, all right, let's set the expensive thing down. I'm telling you, man, if you really, really want to curb your enthusiasm, get a tempered glass desk. That will tap the brakes on a lot of shit. Like, you know, <laughs> I just need to get the fuck out of this room. Um, <laughs> usually the rage would come. You would see me if you're watching the video right now. After dying, I don't know, the 15th, 16th time in a row. But it does that good thing that made me want to come back. So it had that going for it, 100%. Kind of like Super Meat Boy. I, I felt the exact same way. Mm -hmm. It's like, I get it. This is well made. There's a challenge here. And I suck. Completely understood, hundred <laughs> percent. But uh, it's not something I'd ever put like a lot of time into. Kind of like Super Meat Boy, take another shot. Uh, you're already playing that game. But I think this would be an excellent game to keep around because it does have multiplayer, but mm -hmm. local only. It'd be something to break out at parties, but only after you've hidden anything that rhymes with like heavy or sharp, because you don't really know how people are going to take something like this. I enjoyed it. Uh, it was definitely priced to sell. You can get it for a couple of bucks, and you, you can have some fun with it. So uh, I'll mm -hmm. give it a two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So so tough but fair seems to get tossed around a bunch to describe games that have like very difficult mechanics that demand mastery over them. Um, Dark, Dark Souls is one of them where you're essentially waiting and spamming invincibility, spamming dodge for invincibility frames before you can get one or two hits in, and that's that's the game. Um, this game has one mechanic, and that is dodge. It's the Piccolo special. Um, and it's it's interesting because the game seems particularly fast-paced, but it actually wants you to be really patient. Uh, the, the levels don't have time limits, and escalation is based on what progress you make, not how long you spend doing a given thing. Um, which, which is good, because you're just given a bunch of tasks you need to accomplish, catch bottles and put them into cauldrons, smash barrels stay in a spotlight for nine minutes while everything is exploding around you and th this game has a thing where you know what i can't get mad at it because i know there there, there 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 were a couple moments where i went ah oh, that's bullshit i totally nope nope if i had stopped and i had waited and i had taken stock of my surroundings i would have known that that was not the time to go for the thing i'm supposed to do i should have waited um and the, the one thing I didn't realize at first was that the looping screen is actually kind of crucial for some of the challenges uh, where you can go up, you can go to the, the leftmost side of the screen and then appear on the rightmost side of the screen. That's almost required for the uh, for the potion puzzle thing, which, by the way, can just eat a bag of dicks. Oh, my God, that took forever for me to figure out. And uh, yeah, um, the, the one after that is just an exercise in patience, because like there's a spotlight that moves around and you have to stay in it for a certain amount of time. All the while, hell is just reeking around you. Um, it's actually pretty decent. Um, the the scope of the game is limited, and yeah, you're gonna get that super meat boy s challenge where it's just you have to you have to master the very limited mechanics of this game, and it will it will it will test you. And that that's pretty good. Um, mo most times I just rage quit and like actually smash a bunch of stuff like Ben was joking about. Uh, this was not one of those games, so I'll give it a solid two chairs. Good job, Perineum. I keep thinking it means you're taint. <laughs> Very good. Um, well, this is definitely Panarium, a sadistic circus for sure. This is Super Mario Brothers on hard mode. It gets very hard very quick, but it's also very addictive and brings you back wanting more. And you, you got to really be really prepared to die a lot. And what I loved um, about it is the opening, one of the, one of the neat, nicest things was the opening animation that leads into the gameplay is very thematic and fluid and fits the vintage circus theme. It was, you know, very, very fluid. And the art style and soundtrack are very charming. And I really enjoyed playing actually the endless arcade mode um, because the default campaign was so hard. It, it was really hard. I got to like the fifth level and, and just... I couldn't get past, but I, I want to want to go back and play this game again. And for me, a game that does that, that that masters that, that makes me want to come back for more. Um, I give it three chairs and I got three chairs on my Linux Gamecast shirt, but I don't know if you can see them. <laughs> so I got the three chair moon shirt merch. <laughs> So. Uh, very, 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 very good. Yeah, this, this this is uh, this is definitely one of those sort of arcade hard games where 100 percent you would be pumping quarters into this. 
Yes, oh, I, definitely. Definitely. Many, many. Um, <laughs> it does kind of harken back to Nintendo hard 100%. And we yeah. were talking the pre-pre super shows. And I mean, like this level here, this level here defeated me. I This is where I quit. But I, I didn't quit. of like, I'll never play this game again. This is going to be all right. I, I need to kill five minutes and feel worse about my hand-eye coordination in my senior <laughs> years. And it's definitely yeah. delivered. You defeated this level, though. So you I, did, I did. I did. I did. It was like just at the one where it's like, OK, I got one more try and then I'm going to put <laughs> it one down more try. and forget about it forever. <laughs> and that and of course, that's the fucking one where I just ace everything and I go to the next level. I'm like, OK, let's try this out. No, fuck that. Fuck that noise. <laughs> come, come, come back later. Uh, I haven't actually tried the arcade mode, um, the or the endless arcade mode. That might be a yeah. little, uh, that might be a little fun, a little more. That uh, was less really tightly fun. coupled. Um, yes, but yeah, mm-hmm. uh, I keep wanting to call it Paranium, but it's no. Panarium. 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 <laughs> yeah. It's 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 not it's not the space between your balls and your ass. It's Panarium, <laughs> not Panarium.